Hello world, thank you for your interest in golfing the village's content. Today's episode has us traveling by golf cart even before the dawn's early light to Escambia. Escambia is the sister course of Okeechobee, which as you may recall we covered on a previous vlog titled No Gimmies. Escambia is a level 3 course as rated by the villages on their official rating scale system. This course features the standard three teeing locations of green forward, gold middle, and black for the tips. Escambia can play from as short as 757 yards, and if the mood strikes you, you're able to stretch the course out to 1,337 yards from the tips. I really enjoy the elevation changes and the undulating greens this course has to offer. It's also worth mentioning that the greens were in immaculate condition. Other than a little morning moisture, I won't be able to blame any poor putting performances on the greenskeeper. Today I had the pleasure of playing with Bill, Jesse, and Carrie. Carrie I met and had the pleasure of playing with off camera prior to starting the channel. They were a lively and friendly group that I was thrilled to be paired with. They so graciously agreed to be on camera for the vlog, so we have a few shots, I believe putts from them actually. You continue to humble me with your kindness by hitting the like button and by being subscribed to the channel at an incredible rate. It means so very much to me, so thank you again. Without further ado, let's get after it. Good morning, everybody. It is 7.46 on the tee, and you see the pants have made their debut onto the channel. 118 to the pin. This is Gap Wedge. Ba -ba -boo oh, out to the left. Gonna miss the green, and we're starting off real rough today. Good morning. With the ball starting left and going left, it lands here, giving me a not so difficult up and down, to be honest. But it's on the upslope, take a little 50 degree, and I kind of blade it just a little bit, which causes it to go a little long and lose control. So to start off off the green with a par, same shot uh, <laughs> with the same club, still away. Oh, what a way to start the morning. This is for bogey. You can see the greens are in perfect shape, though. Nice oh, well, yeah, no. Going to miss that one on the right. That's my ammo. Tap in for bogey. Play the clown music, because I feel crazy. <laughs> All right, so 124 to the pin. Uh, this is Pitching Wedge. I'm going to try to hit it soft and atone for my sins on the last hole. Plus two to start. Jeez. Okay. Here we go, guys. Good strike toward the center of the green. Drawing a little bit. And we are dancing for birdie. Here we go. And as we head to the green, here is Kerry with a long range look at birdie. He's rolling it down to the cup, and I gotta say, that's a really good, good leg putt. from there. Nice putt, Kerry. Bill's not gonna give it to him because he's seen Kerry putt. putt. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I love the we don't commentary play between these two guys there. No gimme. And this is now my look at birdie. Really a good look. A little bit of a bobble. I should have I should have converted that one, honestly. And this is Bill with his look at... Yo, oh, that's that's not right. Right. Couldn't get it in the hole. Carry now to finish. He says to Bill... Oh, I hate this game! <laughs> and here I am for par. Get in the hole. Yes, sir, indeed. That's in the hole. <laughs>
After the short cart ride, we find ourselves over on the third tee, playing 135 to the pin. I went ahead and selected a pitching wedge here. Smooth strike, a little left. Now drawing, gonna be on the green, but long way away. Here is that birdie look from way downtown. Trying to get it up there. It's gonna move from my left to right, our right to left, and I just sent it way too high. Here's Bill. He's got a similar, and you can see actually the 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 morning dew lines there, how they kind of track. Now Amy got her shadow over the hole for Bill. Sorry about that, Bill. That was his par look. This is my par saver. Can I get it in the hole? Oh, oh, hits the hole and keeps going. Please. Is there a mercy roll here? All right, bogey's okay. I should mention there are some villagers at 75 years. If you hit the hole, it counts. So. I don't unfortunately qualify for that yet. 142 to the pin on the fourth hole. How about a nine iron? Okay, strike. Also a little left. It's going to miss the green, but in a really good spot. I'm going to have a good angle to the flag. Okay. Just off the green here, I've got a little gap wedge. This is holeable. I'm gonna bump it and run it. You can see. Get in the hole. I mean, that was just perfect. Um, leave myself a nice, stress free par putt. Or not. Go ahead and miss it and tap in for bogey. Why not? All right, here we are on the fifth hole, 102 to the pin. It's it's 110, but it plays 102 because it's down the hill. This is a perfect little soft gap wedge for me. I love this shot. And yeah, great strike, good swing, a little left of the flag, gonna land on and be hole high. Now on this particular hole, Bill bounced back to the black tee, and this was his birdie putt. Nice what a great oh. putt. Oh. Man, what we a great putt. That one to go in the hole. This one is Carrie's birdie putt, and you can see it just kind of dried up. You can almost still see the lines. Here's my bid for birdie down the hill. Mm, gosh, yeah, that was just a bad read. I need to go a little higher with that one, so... Tap in for a par for me. And here's Carrie. In the Good hole for par. par. Great par, Carrie. Thank you. All right, this sixth hole plays a lot longer it's 166 to the pin that is the slope adjusted number so if you're playing 155 you're probably going to come up short i've got a seven iron here I'm trying to get it all the way to the back right didn't quite yeah, get all of it it's going to be on the green i got a long putt. it is a putt for birdie Thanks. nevertheless do play with the slope adjusted numbers since we're not playing tournaments so <laughs> don't roast me in the comments all right uh over here we've got a long range birdie putt as you can see uh again i've got some lines there to help track and i was reading that and just kind of didn't give it enough speed so 
this now for par? Oh, yeah, right. there you go. Alright, now over to the seventh hole. It's 102 to the pin. Decisions to be made. Again, do I hit the gap wedge that has a little less spin and I can control? Or do I hit the sand wedge with more spin and leave myself below the hole? Jesus I go ahead and hit the gap wedge long straight over the left side. It's going to be above the hole. It starts to come down a little bit, but not quite all the way. All right, as we head to the green here, I wanted to highlight Bill had a nice look at birdie as well. He's going to roll it up. Oh, just didn't get in the hole. Carry for par. Hey, great par again. Carry back to back. And Bill for par. Also back to back. Fantastic. And here comes Jesse. Let's not talk about it. We're going to give him a net par. He's a nice guy. He was having two. a little tough day. And here we are now with our birdie putt. Now this is what I was saying. We're going down the hill. It should go back yeah, to the right. And in. how does it stay? Oh, I really thought I was moving well, left to right. Bill and I don't know what's going I really on because thought it that was a really good roll. But it's the Bill. difference between but, but, being down the hill and going back. Now. I'm watching everyone's up. Everyone's <laughs> All right, over to the eighth hole here, playing 97 yards to the pin. I did go ahead and grab the sand wedge here. Uh, into the sun is really the only difficulty with this shot. And as I hit it, I kind of get the sun spots. It's like I give up on the swing a little bit. Uh, gonna miss the green on the right. Thank goodness for Bill spotting for me. All right, so we did just miss the green here. We're in kind of a, the intermediate cut. It's really not bad. I've got a gap wedge in my hand. This is just a little bump and run. Nothing to it. Get it going, get it on the surface. See as it rolls to the cup, starts going to the left, just dies a little bit on me. It's not too bad. I mean, this is the better part of uh, maybe seven feet, but I could definitely save this. I'm 0 for three on saves today. Let me that yeah. for four. Over to our ninth and final hole. It is 112 to the center. However, 127 to the pin. Uh, I want to get it all the way there. I'm going to go ahead and hit the pitching wedge. Good strike. A little right now, not drawing, just kind of hanging out on the right side. Just about hole high. It's fine. All right, and here's our closing sequence. Here's Bill coming up the hill for his birdie putt. And just couldn't get the pace right. Ran out a little too much for him. And yours truly now, with his look at birdie, rolling it up to the cup and, oh, slow down, sweetheart. Get out of your way, Carrie. That went much further than I thought. There's Jesse cleaning up. And we've got Bill now trying to save par at the last roll no, no, disappointed with that Rake. one but still a good round fun time had by all this one now for par oh, oh gosh no. get in the hole what are you doing there's carry finishing up and i am gonna go ahead and try to tap this in for a bogey yes oh, just in that's gonna do it for today's episode 
Five over par didn't set any course records, but the five pars to go with the score kept it respectable. Friends of the channel might be excited to know I may actually be turning the corner with my putter and seeing a little light at the end of this tunnel. I may have figured out what's happening, and as I sit here providing the voice over for this video, I am mentally preparing to head out to the course tomorrow for the filming of more Golfing the Villages content. So please wish me luck that I actually do have this figured out. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, We'll see you on the course.